this is Ready Set Crypto with a wee one minute market report for Tuesday, April 9th. We are talking about pullbacks today and I'm bloody well chuffed. In yesterday's one minute market, I spoke of the need for a disciplined strategy before entering a position and not just dogpiling into a rally like everyone else is, which was the topic of yesterday's FOMO video. What kinds of strategies are out there? There are thousands of different trading strategies for entering a trade. And if you bring up the indicator and strategy list in TradingView, there are dozens included with just this program alone. So where do you start? In the spirit of one minute market, we'll narrow it down to two different types. Breakout strategies, where we're looking to hitch a ride out of a congestion zone. And pullback strategies, where we're buying the dip. We'll focus on the pullback strategies today. Now you've heard from all of the experts on Twitter for the past 15 months to buy the dip, but you found that when you did that, you were trying to catch a falling knife. There has to be some objective way to define when to enter on a pullback. And this is where oscillators come to play with pullback strategies. You're looking for the oscillator to go deeply oversold and then cross to the upside indicating that positive momentum is coming in. One of the most popular is the stochastics tool. Just about every trader has used this study at one time or another. You'd look for the slow and fast lines to go into oversold territory and then cross to the upside for your entry signal. Another very useful oscillator is the stochastic momentum index or SMI. But by far, my favorite pullback oscillator is the RSI in Laguerre time study, which I use for all of my directional signals and is a tool that we feature in our classes. It's the most responsive oscillator that we've tested because it's not based on a linear time series. In this case, you're looking for the RSI signal to hook up from the oversold zone. Now, before you take the ideas shared in this video and put them to use, please understand that we're just scratching the surface of the steps that you need to take before you trade live capital with a strategy. I like to trade in the direction of the anchor chart swing, which is a larger time frame, and there are very important risk management steps that you need to take before entering a live position. At this point, you might be noticing a problem with the pullback strategies. What happens if the market is so strong that it just never pulls back and gives you a signal? This is where it's helpful to have a breakout strategy in your arsenal as well. And we'll cover that tomorrow. Let me know what you think. What is your favorite pullback strategy? Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next edition of One Minute Market here at Ready, Set, Crypto.